the office of Dr. Redacted. Item Number SCP-86 Object Class Safe Euclid Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-86 is contained within Office A-19 at Bioresearch Station 71. The secretarial post outside the door is to be staffed by one armed guard. All components of SCP-86 are to be kept within 6 meters of each other. SCP-86-1 is to be kept on the office desk, with a single connection to the telephone at the secretary's post. All communications between SCP-86 and personnel are to be recorded, transcribed, and archived. Every six days, SCP-86-2 is to be used to sharpen four standard commercially purchased 16cm HP pencils, continuing until at least 95% of the mass of each pencil has been converted into pencil shavings. SCP-86-2 is not to be emptied, even if personnel judge that it has become clogged. In such an eventuality, personnel are to wait 10 minutes and then resume sharpening. Every seven days, SCP-86-3 is to be filled with a block of 200 standard commercially purchased staples. Every 20 days, SCP-86-4 is to be filled with 15 sheets of standard commercially purchased microfilm, blank cellulose acetate film, produced on site. SCP-86-5 is to be drained of waste matter whenever it fills more than halfway. The waste matter is to be incinerated. All reading material requested by SCP-86 must be approved by Site Command. All research proposals made by SCP-86 must be approved by 205 level personnel. Description SCP-86 is a collective sessile organism whose component parts resemble items of office equipment from 1978, and which contains a consciousness claiming to be that of former Foundation Administrator, Dr. Redacted, 1907-1978. Its eight components are a rotary telephone, SCP-86-1, a wall-mounted pencil sharpener, SCP-86-2, a desk stapler, SCP-86-3, a microfiche reader, SCP-86-4, a water cooler, SCP-86-5, a filing cabinet, SCP-86-6, a scientific calculator, SCP-86-7, and a slide rule. SCP-86-8. No physical connection or electromagnetic transmission between any of these components has been detected. Each component of SCP-86 is composed of biological material, contained within a carapace made of varying amounts of chitin, keratin, and calcium carbonate, as well as trace amounts of nylon, rayon, and polyester. DNA analysis reveals that the tissues contained within SCP-86 are partially of human origin and data expunged. SCP-86-1 contains a large mass of neural tissue, which functions as a brain, despite several conformational and anatomical irregularities. This brain hosts the majority of SCP-86's consciousness. SCP-86-1 also contains an irrequivalent tympanum, ossicles, etc. in the receiver's mouthpiece, allowing SCP-86 to hear. SCP-86 is able to speak, in the exact match of Dr. Redacted's voice and accent, via the earpiece, although radiological and ultrasound examination have not revealed any laryngeal structures. SCP-86-1 is also capable of ringing. However, SCP-86 has stated that ringing gives it a headache. Consequently, the only circumstances under which it rings are when awakening from sleep at which point it rings twice in rapid succession, and when in distress, at which point it rings SOS in Morse code. SCP-86-2, 3, and 4 function as food intake organs. SCP-86-2 consumes pencil shavings. SCP-86-3 consumes staples. And SCP-86-4 consumes microfilm. SCP-86-5 functions as a combination bladder and bowel equivalent, storing metabolic wastes. SCP-86-6 contains several organs which appear to combine sensory and manipulatory functions. SCP-86 has proven capable of reading printed material and physically manipulating small items. For instance, turning pages and alphabetizing documents, 
when they are placed within SCP-8066. At SCP-86's request, it is regularly provided with non-classified reading material and non-classified clerical work. The biological functions of SCP-8067 and 8 have not been determined. However, SCP-86 has stated that it experiences significant discomfort and confusion when they are removed from its vicinity, and it is therefore speculated that they have some role in its cognition. Although SCP-8067 accepts input, its output seems to be random glyphs and LED noise. SCP-86 has demonstrated that it has full access to Dr. Redacted's memories, and all tests indicate a 100% match with pre-existing psychological profiles of Dr. Redacted. However, SCP-86 has pointed out that there is no way to confirm that it actually thinks of itself as Dr. Redacted, and that it may be an alien intelligence expertly posing as Dr. Redacted, or a sleeper persona which sincerely believes itself to be Dr. Redacted. Acquisition Log SCP-86 is presumed to have been created on June 12, 1978, when Dr. Redacted was presumed killed by the PN-class events, resulting from the decommissioning of SCP-. On June 20, 1978, Dr. Redacted's office was being emptied by maintenance personnel so that it could be assigned to his successor. At this point, SCP-86-1 began ringing repeatedly, despite not being connected to a telephone jack. Maintenance personnel notified Level 3 operatives, who answered SCP-86-1. During the subsequent conversation, SCP-86 identified itself as Dr. Redacted, and then ordered Level 3 personnel to revoke its security clearance, and to make a full report of its existence and properties to O5 level personnel. Dr. Redacted was given a posthumous commendation for meritorious conduct in either reporting himself as an SCP, or in influencing the anomalous entity emulating his behavior into doing so. Note, SCP-86 was originally classified as safe, but it has stated that because it is a sapient entity with anomalous biology and metabolism, and with access to the full memories of an SCP Foundation administrator who previously had level 4 security clearance, it should be classified as Euclid. Note, although we appreciate SCP-86's conscientiousness, there is at this time no pressing reason to classify it as Euclid. If circumstances change, we'll reconsider. O5 blank. <laughs>